Manchester United have signed Tyrell Malaysia, Lisandra Martinez and Christian Eriksen so far this summer and Casemiro is looking increasingly likely to become their fourth deal, with the Brazil international willing to join from Real Madrid. Fortunately for the Red Devils, it doesn't appear John Murtough is done yet. As he looks to back Eric Ten Hag following a nightmare start to the new season, Manchester United always knew they needed a big summer especially after finishing sixth in the Premier League table under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralf Rangnick last term. Malaysia was the first player to arrive, with the Netherlands international joining from Feyenoord back in July. United then proceeded to land Eriksen on a free transfer from Brentford, just over a year after the Denmark international suffered a cardiac arrest at the European Championships. And the Red Devils have also spent big on Martinez. With the Argentina international reuniting with Ten Hag having previously played under the 52-year-old at Ajax, Casemiro is set to become the latest player to rock up at Old Trafford. Personal terms with the Brazil international have been agreed on, with Real Madrid poised to pocket £60 million from any expected sale. So, now, United Devils TV will now examine the fifth. 6th and 7th signings the club want to make this summer and rank them in order of priority. United have seen their attacking options weakened in recent times, with Edinson Cabani leaving on a free transfer and Mason Greenwood still unavailable, having last played back in January. So it's certainly understandable that Ten Hag wants another attacker as he looks to come out of this mini-crisis. United had been eyeing the likes of Darwin Nunez and Benjamin Sesko earlier in the summer only for the duo to end up at Liverpool and RB Leipzig respectively. Jamie Vardy, Danny Welbeck and Anthony have all come under consideration at differing points throughout the transfer window. But the latest indications are the Red Devils will swoop for Cody Gakpo, who has been in sensational form for PSV Eindhoven over the past year. United thought they were going to resolve their right-back woes then. They snapped up Aaron Wan-Bissaka back in the summer transfer window of 2019. However, three years on, and the former Crystal Palace star has been deemed surplus to requirements. So has Brandon Williams, who did well enough during a loan spell at Norwich City last term. United have Diogo de Lott as a starter in that position. But it's clear the Portugal international is a far cry from club heroes such as Gary Neville, Wes Brown, Rafael da Silva, and Antonio Valencia. Barcelona's Sargino Dest has come under consideration at Old Trafford. And it seems like he's on the market, with Xavi telling the USA International to find a new club if he wants regular first-team football. United decided to loan out Dean Henderson this summer even though they'd have preferred the England international to challenge David De Gea for a starting spot. That means that De Gea is now getting into the side almost by default, which isn't ideal given he's looked shaky between the sticks so far this season. Sergio Romero wanted to join United, but the Argentina international has since returned to his homeland with Boca Juniors. Leeds' Ian Malier is another option, though Leicester are also keen on the 22-year-old. It's also unclear if the Whites would entertain selling the Frenchman to such a fierce rival. United have also emerged as potential suitors for Asmir Begovic, who has played for Everton, Chelsea and Stoke during the course of his career so far. United have already lost the likes of Cabani, Paul Pogba, Nemanja Matic, Lee Grant, Jesse Lingard and Juan Mata this summer. Yet there could still be several departures before the transfer window slams shut as Ten Hag looks to refine his squad. United are still unsure over what to do with Cristiano Ronaldo, amid the Portugal international's desire to leave for a Champions League team. Borussia Dortmund, right now, look like frontrunners. Williams and Juan Bissaka, as well as other defenders such as Axel Tanzibi, Eric Bally, and Phil Jones, are all on the market. And United may cut James Garner loose, despite a backlash from fans over the 21-year-old potentially heading elsewhere.